So my lovely patrons on Patreon voted for it. Brienne of Tarth. <laughs> Versus one of Aegon the Conqueror's wives, Visenya Targaryen. So this video, let's explore which one of these ladies would lay the absolute smack down on the other and come out the champion. Disclaimer before we get into the fight. This is taking books Brienne and Visenya. However, due to lack of images, I use a lot of TV series footage. Note that the images and video don't correspond to all dialogue in this video because there's a lot in the books not in the show or changed quite a bit in the show from the books. For example, Brienne has no armor on when taking on the knights that think she killed Renly in the books, where in the show she is armored. Another example, I use a clip of Brienne taking on Boltons to defend Sansa in this video, where that never happened in the books. These clips are just meant to show Brienne fighting. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go. As I said, this video is Brienne versus Visenya. Now, I did a poll all the way back in April of 2018, and the results were a bit mixed. On Twitter, Brienne won the fight with 52% of the votes, where on Facebook, Visenya won with 56% of the votes. But since we know only the worst of humanity uses Facebook, let's just focus on the Twitter poll. And as we can see from it, people were split, which means people will be split with this video too. And you know what that means. All around me are familiar faces. So let's go! First, let's lay down some ground rules. So we're assuming that Brienne and Visenya are alive during the same time, despite being born centuries apart. We're also assuming that both of them are in the prime of their life, which is a bit hard to do because we don't actually ever see Brienne in her prime because she's a teenager in the books. Lastly, let's assume that both women know that for some reason they absolutely have to fight each other and they have to win because we know Brienne can be a bit of a softy and doubt herself, so she's going all in on this. Visenya, of course, wouldn't have any problem. It's Visenya. So let's look at their personalities in this fight. Both women have been described as stubborn, but I think of the two of them, we can all agree Visenya is the heartless one and capable of doing the truly twisted shit to win. However, neither of them lacks the will to fight. That being said, let's start with round one, a physical fist fight between the two ladies without any weapons. It's hard to believe in a straight fist fight, Brienne would lose. If Brienne had been born a man, she would have been called big but being a woman, she is considered freakishly huge, reaching around six and a half feet, about as tall as Robert Baratheon. Not only is she tall, but she has broad shoulders with a chest more muscle than bosom, even broader hips, long legs with enormous feet, and thick arms with big hands. I mean, come on, Jamie Lannister thinks of her as the hound with teats. We also know that Brienne's endurance is described as being beyond normal, meaning her tiring out during this fight isn't that likely. Her hard work, while giving her body a not considered the norm or attractive for a lady, gave her calves like cords of wood and long strong muscles in her arms that made it so she could row half a night and show no signs of tiring, even when other men would. When trying to subdue her, it takes at least four men to beat her into submission. Visenya, on the other hand, is not described as being very large. We know she was born looking like a traditional Valerian and Targaryen, with purple eyes and silver gold hair, and she would grow to be a beautiful woman, but beautiful in a harsh way. This harsh beauty would match her unforgiving, stern, and serious nature. From all photos and descriptions, she appears to be shorter than Aegon the Conqueror, her husband, who was described as a tall man, but not enormous by any means. So Visenya is probably of normal height for a woman, and we never have her described as mannish or very muscular, so we can assume she didn't have a lot of muscles or nowhere as near as many as Brienne. She of course had some muscle because of her training with weapons, which I'll get to in a bit. So in size comparison, Visenya is at least eight inches shorter than Brienne, and Brienne certainly has a shit ton more muscle mass than Visenya. I mean, Brienne is said to be almost as strong as Gregor Clegane. In all likelihood, Brienne could KO Visenya with one solid punch. But here's the question. Would she even get that opportunity? I don't think Visenya would be stupid enough to get that close to Brienne. Now, could Brienne get close enough to Visenya to get that punch in? Well, both women are described as quick. And we know as a general rule, the more muscle you have, 
generally, the slower you are, generally. So, I think it would be a little difficult to say whether Brienne would get in there for that punch, but honestly, I do think Brienne could, at one point, go in there and just <laughs> punch Visenya out. What about strategy, though? Both women are smart when it comes to fighting. Brienne is known to be an intelligent fighter and able to take on multiple enemies without a sword, such as when she's transporting Jaime Lannister in A Storm of Swords and she uses boulders to take out men on a river galley coming after them. I mean, this woman dives into a river, climbs a cliff, and takes out a ship by dropping huge boulders. She's definitely a wild card. If Visenya is also capable of this level of planning, we don't know, but I would assume while she could think of it, she wouldn't be strong enough to enact it. We also mostly see Visenya's battle intelligence when used with a sword and or dragon. So strategy-wise in a fist fight, I think perhaps Brienne does have an edge. But I'm also not saying Visenya would be useless in a fist fight either. I'm more than sure she knows how to fight without the use of a dragon or weapons. Just not as well as Brienne. And she doesn't have the advantages Brienne has. Honestly, because Visenya isn't described as a brawler and we know Brienne is good with fighting with her hands, I think round one would go to Brienne. I think Brienne would get that one solid punch or a few solid punches that just knocked Visenya out. On the other hand, I think Visenya knows she would get her ass handed to her in a fight, a fist fight with Brienne, so she wouldn't even engage in one. So let's move on to round two, where both women are armed. So both Visenya and Brienne have their Valyrian steel sword. Visenya with her sword Dark Sister, and Brienne with Oath Keeper. And we're gonna say both are in armor because from all accounts, we know that both Visenya and Brienne are comfortable in ring mail, so wearing it isn't going to be a hindrance for either. All right, so we know Brienne and Visenya both receive warriors training despite there being a stigma around women fighting in most of Westeros mostly. Obviously, we know exceptions. Visenya's training may have been more accepted because she lived on Dragonstone before it was a part of the Seven Kingdoms. Brienne received training from her master-at-arms, Sir Goodwin, who taught her mental toughness by slaughtering screaming piglets and lambs to not hesitate to kill and to use her agility and endurance to tire out her enemies. Brienne also has a greater reach than Visenya due to her long arms, which in a sword fight gives a huge advantage. So what fights can we look at on Brienne's side to see if she would best Visenya? Well, Brienne did defeat her betrothed in combat, breaking three of his bones, but the man was 65, so maybe not the best example. Well, we also know Brienne defeated Jaime Lannister, and Jaime Lannister is considered one of the best fighters in the Seven Kingdoms. Brienne fought with him and won, but he was weak from imprisonment and chained at the wrists, and despite all that, she still struggled to keep his blade at bay. It was a close call with Jaime gaunt and weak and chained. I mean, even Brienne believes no knight in the Seven Kingdoms could have stood against Jaime Lannister at his full strength with no chains to hamper his fighting. So points to Brienne for fighting Jaime and impressing Jaime, but you know, minus points because that was a very weak man and she had a lot of advantages in that fight. Now, if we trust others, Brienne isn't as good with the sword as some men that don't even rank on the list of top 10 Westerosi fighters. But if that is scorn rather than truth, who can really say? We do know that Brienne can take on multiple men at once. During the melee at Bitter Bridge, she took out a lot of competitors, being the last of 116 knights competing, even taking out Loris Tyrell, who was a good swordsman, though honestly a better lance. Also keep in mind, she was ganged up on in this melee, so she had more of a disadvantage. When some knights believe Brienne killed Renly Baratheon, she keeps them at bay while they are fully armored, and she isn't. She does this long enough for Catelyn Stark to let them know it wasn't Brienne that killed Renly. So clearly she can handle multiple men at once. I think one of the best fights, besides the one with Jaime, is when she's attacked by multiple assailants and dispenses of them in A Feast for Crows, at the Whispers. When she is attacked by members of the Brave Companions, she's able to kill three of them. Later in the same book, Brienne fights former Brave Companions, and before needing help with the really grotesque and almost inhuman biter, she does pretty well. On the other hand, we have Visenya. As a child, she trained alongside her brother Aegon the Conqueror and became just as much of a warrior as he did. 
To go with her warrior skills, she wielded a Valerian steel longsword named Dark Sister, which maesters agree she was incredibly skilled with. While they say Visenya was as much a warrior as Aegon the Conqueror, when you look at the history and lore of this world, Aegon isn't listed as the best of the best, though he is certainly impressive. We also know that during Aegon's conquest, she didn't fight with her sword, or at least not that often. She was mostly on her dragon. While the Dornish War was going on, she did use Dark Sister to defend her brother, though. There are at least a few times during the war she used her sword. Visenya and her escort were attacked one time, and two of her guards were slain before she cut down the last of the attackers with her sword Dark Sister. Another time in 10 AC, Aegon would be happy to have Visenya by his side, when in the streets of King's Landing, Aegon and Visenya were both attacked, and if not for Visenya and her sword Dark Sister, Aegon may not have survived. Despite this attack, and his sister likely being the only reason why Aegon survived, Aegon was convinced that his guards were enough. Visenya let him know otherwise when Aegon pointed to his guardsmen, and Visenya quickly pulled out Dark Sister and cut Aegon's cheek before the guards could react. She scolded him, your guards are slow and lazy. This demonstrates that Visenya is quite quick with her blade. So from these examples, we can see Visenya is quick and skilled enough to defend against male attackers, and in some cases, multiples. So given both women's training with a sword and the fights we've seen them in, who would win this round? It's a bit tricky to say, but honestly, I'd still go with Brienne. What I think would work in Visenya's favor, though, is Brienne isn't as experienced as Visenya. Brienne also doubts herself, is insecure, and has shown hesitation. These are all things Visenya doesn't have, and things she would take advantage of in a fight against Brienne. Brienne also thinks repeatedly about how in fights with men, she should let her opponent wear themselves out because they will try to vanquish her quickly, so no one can say a woman gave them a run for their money. Visenya would not fall into those traps. She likely wouldn't care about defeating Brienne quickly, but instead smartly. Without the advantage of prideful men trying to end the fight quickly, Brienne might have a tougher time with Visenya. Again, honestly, I think in the end, without the use of a dragon, Visenya would lose to Brienne. I mean, it says a lot when the author of this freaking series names three characters he would have fight for him in a trial by combat, and he says Jamie with both hands, Arthur Dane, and Brienne of Tarth. He's not even thinking about Visenya in that three. So that clearly says that George considers Brienne a much better fighter. Now, if we're talking battle commanding, Visenya, of course, would win. She has way more experience as a commander and fought in many battles as one. Brienne just doesn't have that experience despite having a tactical mind. Also, of course, Brienne never had a dragon. You can't forget the advantage of a dragon. So hey, really quick, round three. <laughs> Visenya with a dragon versus Brienne. Oh, looky there, Visenya wins. But that is my opinion, and opinions aren't facts. So if you disagree with me and you think Visenya should have won round one or two, or maybe both, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below.